Hello everybody, it's Lucy. I'm in Cannes, France right now, and this is my one of the beautiful windows with the view that I have at the apartment that I rented. I want to share that with you. And you might be able to see the ocean back here. Maybe you can see it. It's about less than a mile away. I'm so lucky to have found this place. Anyway, I wanted to share with you something that happened to me today that's kind of unusual. Uh, those of you that know me know very well that I love going to the gym. I mean, if I could go twice a day, I would. It would be such a luxury to me. However, here the weather is so beautiful and the water is so beautiful that running to the beach and taking a swim and running back has just been the most wonderful workout. Also here, uh, I haven't found any gym that I really like. I, they're all kind of grungy to tell you the truth, and they also cost a lot of money for a, a day pass, and so I just haven't really been able to bring myself to want to go to the gym. Imagine that. <laughs> so, regardless, I feel that way sometimes, too, but it's a little bit of different circumstances that brings me to that place where I don't want to work out in the gym. Anyway, you all know that at least twice a week is required for maintenance, for muscle maintenance, you have to lift weights keep your metabolism, to keep your uh, body mass index, your body fat percentage down, all that stuff. Lifting weights is so important. And, you know, I missed a week already. I've been running and swimming and I haven't been lifting. So it was time for me to go. <laughs> and I didn't want to. Needless to say, I pretty much painted that picture for you, I guess. So what did I think to myself when I was arguing with myself about going to the gym? Well, I thought that I worked really hard to get where I am today with my fitness and it's important to me to keep myself at that level. And if I don't continue my workouts, I won't be able to do that. Of course, I'll go home and I'll be at a lower level and it'll take more work to get me back to where I have been. That's the bottom line for me. And ultimately that should be the bottom line for all of you. You know, whether you're, you're losing weight and you've done so much to get to where you are today and you're finding yourself arguing with yourself about going to the gym or doing your workout, or maybe it's not weight loss. Maybe you've been working hard to enter a competition or to do a triathlon or you know you want to be off your medications and you're, you're almost there whatever the case is the bottom line for you is why you work out and that's what you want to remember during the times that you're finding it hard to do so you know we all have arguments with ourselves about whether or not we want to work out whether or not we want to go to the gym and what's going to What's going to separate the people that stay fit and get or get fit from the people that don't get fit or don't stay fit? It's going to be, you know, the strength that you have when you really don't want to do it. By the way, uh, when I did get to the gym and I paid the ridiculous amount of money it cost to work out in a gym with very old equipment. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I got into the workout, I actually made my own personal best. I haven't been able to do squats, lunges with a bar in a while because I've had a knee injury and uh, my knees have been getting better and better and today I was able to do squats and lunges with a bar so I was very excited about that, not to mention the fact that I met a few really nice people. I had a really great time. So there's my little word of encouragement to you today. Ta-ta. See you soon.